What's going on guys, Logan here for a new video and today I'm going to be giving you all an update on my Mustang. Uh, I dropped it off at the Ford dealership out here in Conroe, I believe Monday. Uh, it's now Saturday so I'm going to let you all know exactly what the service tech told me. So I went ahead and drove up there yesterday just to check on it, see what the progress is and they haven't looked at it yet. Well they have looked at it but they haven't fixed it yet because of course there's going to be a line before me. Pretty much it's first come first serve so they have looked at my car. Since me and my buddy plugged up his little device to my computer and we cleared all the codes, it wasn't throwing anything then now granted yes the uh, output speed sensor was still messed up so there was that but there wasn't any code saying that anything was messed up but luckily before we clear the code I went ahead and took a picture of the code uh, right there on the device I sent the picture to my service tech and he said you know he's gonna give that to the mechanic so they can see but from the notes they wrote on there apparently this is a very common issue that they've seen this before and there's a safety recall on this so I'm pretty sure they're gonna go ahead and replace the lead frame uh, do a transmission flush and replace the output speed sensor which is, the sp which is the sensor that went wrong. As far as what my car was doing, why I even took it to the Ford dealership, it was shifting very radically. Sometimes when I would start my car and start to go, it would almost seem like it wasn't in first gear, which it wasn't at the time. And then on top of that, I was having really erratic shifts. Like I would be going down the highway, like it happened last week. I was going down the highway, I was going 55 miles an hour, then all of a sudden it put me into first gear, uh, locked up my rear wheels, and it could have caused a crash. It didn't cause me to crash, luckily, but here's the video. It's going all kind of weird. And just a bit of advice, if your car is doing this and you're about to take it to your Ford dealership, try to videotape it because my service tech told me that me videotaping it was very useful and when I sent that video to him, he said he's going to show it to the tech because how do they know that I'm not lying as far as, you know, me just wanting to get a transmission flush or something like that. So video actually shows that something's wrong with your car. Even though they should know of this issue, I called two different Ford dealerships before taking it here and the two other dealerships, they basically pushed me away, said that, you know, yeah, there's nothing we can do. I called this dealership out here and they said they knew of the issue and they just told me to bring it in, which is honestly really crappy that they pushed me away because on something like this, this is a safety recall, what's pretty much how they fix my car, they have to pay out of pocket to fix my car at first and then Ford reimburses them. I just think it's crazy that the other two dealerships, even though they would have got reimbursed, didn't want to help me out. But so far over here at Condo Ford, everything's been good. I will let y'all know how my overall experience is after my car is fixed. I just think it's crazy that if my car was built like a month later, I wouldn't have this issue because Ford realized their mistake in like 2011. So it sucks that my car is affected, but Ford, they are riding the wrong by doing this recall. So I will let y'all know exactly what happens and how my whole experience is when I get my car back. But definitely stay tuned to my channel next week because there's going to be a big change to my car. I think that a lot of y'all like it. I've only told about one or two people, so it should be a surprise for most people. But guys, I really do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.